Rachel Keller, a 23-year-old from Camp Hill United Methodist Church, just got back from a trip to South Africa where she had been for 16 months. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you, Brittany. And um, it must be kind of crazy coming back to the States and having to visit family and friends and they all want to see you. Um, has there been anything that's been hard to adjust to from the different cultures? Um, I think that coming back from any different culture where you've been for an extreme amount of time, um, different from your home culture, can be difficult. Um, and, you know, there's all different sorts of emotions that you go through that you don't really understand and things like that. But one of the hardest things for me was that Johannesburg had become my home um, for, for a long period of time. And so to come back to another home that used to be familiar to you is sometimes um, really difficult. Um, but to just remember the, the joy that I have had um, with seeing a family again and with seeing um, friends and people that I haven't in such a long time um, is something um, that I've, I've really appreciated um, being able to, to, just, to just see people and to fellowship with others. Even though I do miss South Africa um, and, and the people and the relationships that I formed there, but to know that a piece of my heart will always be there and that that's okay um, to still love a place and to still have a piece of your heart there um, mm -hmm. and to keep it there. Did you know whenever you were looking for mission work that you wanted to go to Africa or is that just where you got placed? Um, within the, the mission internship, um, there are organizations that will apply to receive a mission intern, um, a young adult, to come and work there. And so out of those applications, um, the General Board of Global Ministries will set the mission intern up with a certain place. And so I was placed in South Africa. I was willing to really go anywhere. I just mm -hmm. wanted to go. So um, I didn't necessarily choose it, but we ended up being a good fit in the end. So Sure. Um, is there something that impacted you most while you were there that you can think back on as a really significant part of your mission work? Um, I think the most significant part of, of my whole experience was being able to form relationships with other people. Um, and I just met some really fabulous and stunning people that have an incredible stories that I will, never, I will never forget, and that's what I take back with me. I think that the foundation of mission work is in forming relationships with others and in just loving people. Um, that's what Christ has called us to do, is just to love people. And so um, in my mission work, all I, I want to do is just to learn more about others and to be with others and to work alongside of other people in, in forming relationships. And that mission work can happen anywhere. Um, I'm just blessed to be able to go to South Africa and to meet, to meet the people that were there. Absolutely. I think that the relationships that you form with people really are the most important part of mission work, no matter what you're doing, whether it's um, fixing up houses and doing manual work or whether you're teaching. Uh, what was your role as, as a mission intern? Um, well, my most recent work in South Africa, I worked with a Methodist church in Benoni, which is a suburb just outside of Johannesburg. And Northfield has a mission and outreach program that works with different projects in some of the rural and more poor townships outside of, outside of the city and outside of Benoni. Um, and a lot of my work was done in different preschools, working with the different kids and some of the teachers, um, and also meeting different people from, from the projects. And so I worked with a project called John Wesley Community Center, which is right in the heart of one of the townships called Itwatwa. <laughs> and Such a fun name to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Itwatwa. But um, they have um, a preschool program, an after-school care program where they work with children. They have a lot of different programs also focused on HIV ad advocacy, um, on education about HIV and AIDS. Um, and so I was able to participate in some of their support groups um, to see some of the work that they've been doing. Um, and it was just it's just stunning, it's incredible in such, such a poor place how alive the Spirit of God is and how passionate the people who work there are people from the community mm -hmm. who are so passionate about, about change and about bringing, bringing hope to others and that hope is found at John Wesley. Were you surprised at the amount of poverty that you did see while you were there? Um, poverty is something that I've 
I've seen deep poverty before and before my experience in South Africa I had I had seen it before um, but I think it's something that never never I've never become numb to um, something that never um, you know that's just any old thing and I think that that's something that you should never look at poverty it should always strike you it should always mm -hmm. grip you um, and cause you to, to move forward with with what you've seen and um, so a lot of the poverty that I've seen I always talk about how we would be going down the N12 the one highway on the way to Tuatwa and you take that exit and as you're driving down the road as soon as you get off the exit for miles and miles you see these homes some are brick homes and some are just tin shacks um, that are just square homes very close to one another um, and on outside of the home is another small tall thin structure that's their outhouse where they have their water um, and that's always very difficult to see and that's how the homes were set up in, in apartheid and apartheid ended about 15 years ago but it's something that still continues on today and that cycle of poverty still continues on today um, and so those were some of the things that I saw and saw the way, the way of life that is, is like that or, or even lower than that for so many people in South Africa. Um, Can you explain a little bit more about what our apartheid was and um, mm -hmm. to people that may not know? Mm -hmm. um, apartheid did end um, 15 years ago and, and democracy was, was formed in South Africa. Um, but before then, there was a the law in South Africa was um, that they basically moved all the non-whites away from the rest of the the normal communities in the cities and in the suburbs, and everyone was required to carry a passbook that stated your race, and your race then decided what your status was in the community and where you could go, and so anyone at any time could be stopped by the p police and be asked to show their passbook and if you did not have your passbook with you you would be arrested right away um, and that was one of the big things of apartheid was just that people weren't allowed to go in certain places and people had to have mm -hmm. identification with them everywhere they went um, and people were forced to live in these communities from basically just denied from the rest of, of society um, which had trouble finding work um, some people would work with the rest of the, the white community, um, but they were forced to live in the outskirts, and it was, it was an impoverished, impoverished time. I was reading a little bit about it before the interview, and I was surprised at um, how recent it really was that it was still going on. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting that you can be there and, and see the results of that and then be mm -hmm. able to share that with other people that um, segregation isn't something that was so long ago. Mm -hmm. um, it, really, mm -hmm. it really is still having its effects in mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. What is the next step for you in your mission work? Um, well, I will be leaving soon to move to Seattle, Washington, and I will be working with a day center for homeless women and children in the city. Okay. Well, what would you say to anyone else that is considering doing mission work? Oh, well, I, am, I was very blessed to be able to be um, a part of, to still be a part of, of this program. And I think that any youth or young person that's looking into mission work should definitely check out um, the General Board of Global Ministries because they have many different opportunities around the world and within the U.S. short-term and long-term opportunities for people to get involved. Um, and it's been a great opportunity for me to be able to explore my gifts in mission and to be able to, um, yeah, explore my gifts <laughs> um, in mission work and the, and the gifts that God has given me. And I've learned more about myself and um, more about other people in the world around me and how that all fits together. Well, God bless you on your next step in your journey. And you. if you would like to find out more about Rachel's time in South Africa, you can find a link to her blog on my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com. Mm -hmm.